Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel again. Uh, this is part 5 of the DIY A320 Neo home cockpit uh, build process. So in part 5, we're going to talk about the front control unit, which is FCU, and the FS portion, which is on top of the master instrument, uh, the main instrument panel. Um, I didn't, I will not go into deep in this section because most of the parts actually uh, I bought, uh, I bought it, not DIY. So I'm, I'm going to show you uh, how, what, which one is the FCU that I bought and how I install it into the system. Okay. So before that, we're going to talk about the design uh, in the SketchUp. So let's go into SketchUp. Okay. So here is the design of the FCU. So it's basically the on top of the main instrument panel. So it protruding, I think, around 25 centimeters here. The, the width of this board or the distance between this uh, front unit and to the back of the main instrument panel. Um, yeah, so this um, board here actually is, I think, if not mistaken here, I forgot the, it's supposed to be, uh, yeah, nine millimeters. So it's kind of like using uh, six millimeters and uh, or three, uh, I forgot the, uh, I think I have strengthening with another six millimeter inside here and glue it together. Okay. So basically to provide the stop gap for this, uh, this section here, I bought it from Java simulator. So you can see here, uh, let me close it. So, uh, so you can see this unit all together bought from Java simulator. So I, I bought a left FS, right FS and the FCU. So, this one is the caution and master uh, light. It's actually I DIY myself. So I plus laser cut here and put a Cori display here to for uh, the master light and uh, caution uh, light and then for uh, other button here. Um, the rest actually is very uh, not not crowded with uh, a lot of things. I just put some dimming uh, for for um for certain uh dimming uh for let's say i put it here a hole for uh reading light uh, sh uh, uh the lights actually light up the, the the retractable drawer here uh also there are a cutout here a triangle cutout with a drop uh, down light of led spotlight 12 volt led spotlight in three position spin control with the dimmer uh, the dimmer actually the potentiometer in the pedestal so you can dimming the down light into the main instrument panel from those cutout okay so i'll show you in the photo later on but that's that's the main uh structure here um i painted glossy blue gray here so it's very nice color actually in the recent uh, build uh, recent modification i put a hole here and put uh, a camera uh looking at the mcdo so if you see my video flying video there's some uh, where there's a there's a scene where i programming the mcdo uh, i can uh, there's a top uh, looking top down camera actually i put the camera inside the panel uh inside this area and then cut a hole here and then looking downward into the mcdo area so that's the only webcam that i use uh for recording the mcdo activity but and other than that, it's basically a simple build. Um, so yeah, and this pa this uh, Java Simulator FCU FS panel, I didn't even bolt it or screw it into the panels. I just clamp it with uh, the panel cover. So the panel cover are screwed into the uh, structures bar, and then press the panel downward. Okay, so that's it, and it's quite stable, secured, and it's not uh, moving around so that is the only structure of the fcu it's very simple except for the cutout uh, let me go back into the slideshow and show you the photo thing here is the 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 previous photo in uh, previous video so you can see uh this this unit actually uh three this three unit i bought it and i did several modification to the power supply so if i switch off the external power or the battery it will turn off all the backlight but not 
the seventh segment unfortunately so the seventh segment i cannot turn also the green here cannot be turned off i think it's controlled directly by the microcontroller inside the, the unit but the power the 12 volt power are powering the backlit L, uh, led so i can turn it off using a relay so during uh, dark and cold uh, cold and dark setup it it will turn off this uh, backlit okay uh, this one is diy uh, this one is being tested uh, so i switch on the test light uh, in the overhead so it, it light up everything so this one is master uh, master light and uh, master caution and master warning and this one is for the side stick priority and this one is for the chrono switch it's working actually quite okay so everything is working here including the lights uh, of course this um, java simulator unit require a separate software because they are not open system so they have their own uh, software so i need to in uh, switch on uh, uh, actually loading the software to be able to control this or connect it into the msfs 2020. Uh, there have been some upgraded upgrade required if there's major change in msfs 2020 sometimes the software broken so it's not using a common protocol but it's it is using fsu ipc7 as the main interface so that is the the, uh, uh, this one is a closer look into the master caution and warning uh, it's, it's actually you cannot read it but in the in the real life actually you can read it quite okay the color of this side panel and this uh, java simulator is a bit different uh, okay so um here is uh looking down so there's a cutout here you can see this is for the down light of the led spotlight that i mentioned and control directly from the pedestal uh, dimmer uh, so you can switch on and then light this section light this section just like in the real air, air, aircraft this one control this light so if you uh, rotate to counterclockwise it will turn off the light or dim the light this light is for reading light to, to uh, on top of the retractable drawer this one is actually for fcu display unfortunately both of them and uh, the other one on the other side and uh, the right side it's not working because the fcu cannot be controlled the dimmer uh, the dimming of the backlight and the seven segment cannot be controlled through the dimmer because i cannot control or access the, the circuit of the java simulator unit okay unfortunately so let's look into their website uh this is their website uh, uh you can uh, this is actually a diy high quality diy uh, product actually because i i don't think they are um, a huge manufacturer like charge master or professional um, uh, manufacturer but i think they start diy but it's very nice diy so uh, good quality uh, good finishes and uh, yeah the lights the the buttons actually working very well so what i bought is actually I, if you go to shop uh i I did bought the MacDo uh, version 3 also, but at the end of the day, I just DIY using their uh, casing only and the buttons. The rest of the inside actually, I got it, got it out and then replaced with my own PCB and switches. Um, the reason is I just want this MacDo to connect to the uh, MobiFlight rather than to their software, which is, yeah. In the past i think some sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't i don't know why and some other guy uh, apparently uh, experienced the same thing they have to reprogram and send back the unit to to java simulator to fix it i don't want to do that so i just got it out the the pcb their pcb and the switches and replace it with my own pcb design uh, but i'm using the case and the buttons anyway i'm gonna talk about that in the pedestal uh but what i'm going to talk about is this unit so actually it's there's no package that i bought actually it's a different one so it's not a full set definitely if you look into the full set let's look into the full set first um you can see here the whole unit here uh there is one two three four five sections so you can buy five of them uh, so you can have the full uh, captain side and first officer side. But what I bought actually, I bought this uh, FS. 
and then FCU and uh, left FS, uh, center FCU and the right FS. That's it. I didn't bought this part and this part. So, well, I just because it's very easy to to make. So I I decided to make my own on this uh, captain and uh, captain side of this section. Okay. So, but for this one, uh, it's actually a good product, uh, especially on the buttons here. The push pull mechanism is very, very well built. So it's not DIY kind of uh, switches. So I think they purposely designed the switches um, and it's functioning quite well actually with the push and pull. So it's very tactile, uh, very uh, nice to use it. And also the display is quite accurate. That's it. The rest, I think it's quite um, standard. Uh, even, yeah, all the push pull actually, including the this QNH uh, or the barometric uh, pull push, push pull actually working very wide, very, very well. Uh, I've, I've done creating this panel before, except for the display, seven segment display at a time. So it's quite difficult to, recreate this push pull effect uh, so anyway i think there's a lot of circuits and 3d design for this uh, diy you can take that route but uh, just to to cut short the build time i bought this three piece of this left fs fcu and right fs okay so that is the java simulator product i think the price is quite reasonable to me uh compared to like uh european based manufacturing i think this is from thailand uh if not mistaken it's quite competitive in pricing uh, the quality i think is a bit uh lower uh, than the european product uh, or manufacturing uh, but it's quite good to me as i mentioned durability is relatively okay with me but they have already several product here the mcdo uh, of course, the glare, uh, way, uh, the glare uh, panels, uh, the front panels, uh, the protruding panels, uh, the FCU, FS, and the side console. Uh, and I think they created uh, last time is the overhead uh, mini overhead panel, so they don't do a full size overhead. I think they initially planned to do overhead panels, but I think they changed their mind. I don't know, but they just pro produce a overhead a mini size overhead panel here. But anyway, you can go around in their side, ask questions, they're quite helpful. Uh, but I just decided to take the several of their product and kind of modding it a bit. <laughs> anyway, so the, the Java Simulator have, um, at least I have an option to to get a more affordable uh, product to, to the build, okay? So yeah, so that is the 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 build so i think we reached the end of the fcu uh discussions or uh, descriptions uh hopefully you have some idea on this fcu so this panels is the most used panels during the flight because you have to do ap uh, autopilot uh, switching um hitting speed and altitude and also can can change the 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 navigation display range, for example, or a lot of things are done using this FCU or the glare shield panels. Uh, so yeah, I think I choose to take the well uh, built product rather than DIY because for the uh, for first to cut short the build processes, also to get a a, a, a built product rather than to do experimental DIY. So. For that reason, I'm satisfied with the build. Okay, so let's continue to part six of the build, which is going to talk uh, uh, a bigger, another big task to do on DIY, which is the pedestal. Okay, so see you in part six of the video.